And then my other company, uh, StubHub, online ticket sales, right? Secondary tickets for sporting events and, and uh, concerts and stuff like that. So at StubHub, we had this problem. We said, if we're going to do commerce right up until the event, if we're going to let you buy a ticket to the football game an hour before the event, and we're going to have a courier deliver you that ticket, we need communications. We need to communicate to the seller. Hey, seller, your ticket just sold. We're sending a courier to pick it up from you. Then we needed to call down a list of couriers. Hey, courier, we've got a job for you. Then we have to call the, the buyer. Hey, buyer, a courier is showing up in two minutes. Make sure you're ready. And again, when we went and looked at how we would go do this, what did we find? We found an industry, telecommunications, trying to sell us these black boxes. They're not configurable. They're prepackaged solutions. You plug them in. You know, a forklift brings it in. You plug it in, and they're completely inflexible. It's whatever the vendor wanted to sell you. And we're like, this is not what we have in mind, right? I don't want to go spend millions of dollars, spend 24 months getting a vendor to install this big thing, only to have it be you know, uh, uh, completely unconfigurable. We can't build on top of it. We're just stuck with what the vendor sells us. And that's why we started Twilio, actually. It was based on you know, this experience. 